No, she won't. See, she's a bit. Yeah, you can. Oh, you can't hear her voice. All right, get in there. Come on, get in there, Kim. Well, Sands started in the late 80s somewhere, probably 88 or something was before my time. And um, they had things like the um, Sands 2 sale, which I think went from Auckland up to Wangarei. And you had a set stop over time, so you might be there for 12 hours or 24 hours, whatever it was. Then you sailed down to Tauranga, had another set time. So it's not mass restarts, it's just you started bang on a time after you finished. And then they sailed back to Auckland to finish. I think Peter Blake did one of those races. Um, then Sands took over the Round North Island race and that was probably very early 90s when they did that. And um, what this current Safety at Sea series started off as a Barocca series. And over the years it became um, Navico, BNG, Simrad, and now Safety at Sea series. And it's just growing over time. It was uh, off the start, you know, slow, 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 park up, right down to uh, Gannett Rock, park up, restart. Then we're waiting for a, uh, for a knock, lift, 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 tack over, the roast went in. That was a bad call, because the pork was just steaming away, four hours, and then it started to rain, and we couldn't get to the pork, and get back to the dock, it was bloody terrible. Yeah, it's pretty tough when you're still trying to finish a race, and you've got the smell coming out the galley, and no, it just smells awesome. Won't happen again and you just want to get stuck into it, but you still got to finish race first. This morning for breakfast on the hard label, we've got bacon, eggs, salmon, tomato, cream cheese and brie, and I'm going to do them on croissants. I'm in charge of the food, so I think we'll be just fine with that. Get that underway while Cameron's on his way up to the start.
So um, we've lost a couple of places, but we're still on the hunt. Trim, trim, Ken. Just kidding. Just, just having a little um, morale adjuster and back into it. Hard labour out. We're still trying to work out what Tim has done wrong. He's obviously feeling really guilty that he had to buy Carla some flowers. So um, yeah, he still hasn't owned up what, what he's actually done Jesus, yet. Jesus, you're talking crap, mate.